everybody, Ann here, just sitting here, finished up with my iced coffee, haven't even brushed my hair, look at me, look at me, I haven't even washed my face, I still got that little crusty things in my eyeballs. Anyhow, today I'm going to do some foraging, I'm going to do some pickling, and I'm going to check on those mushrooms that I got dehydrating, and whatever else I can get done, if it doesn't rain again, it looks like it's going to rain, so who knows. Not a bad day foraging, cucumbers, a ton of chanterelles from Mr. Lucas property, and uh, those mushrooms probably are not edible. There's one more in here. Where did it go? Here it is. This is some kind of milky. Not sure what kind. It's edible though, so I figured I'd bring that along. Cool, man. What I didn't show you earlier is a bunch of okra that Mr. Lucas gave me, so I decided to pickle them. I heard they're very good pickled, and I love pickling things. You know how much I love pickling things. And I used my sweet brine recipe. That reminds me, I need to put that in the recipe book. And I used the same brine for the okra and the chanterelles. And I'll uh, probably put how to pickle chanterelles in the recipe book as well. Neither of these are, are going to be canned. I'm just going to put them in a refrigerator and eat them up pretty quickly because I love pickles. So, yep, that's my first project of the day. Done. I just got permission from my neighbor to dig up those passion fruit vines. He says no problem. And I actually see more of them growing in different spots right in front of that culvert. So I need to find out if it's okay for me to dig them up now, if it will damage them. Um, I had read somewhere, like I put in that comment, that you're not supposed to dig them up while they're in their growing stage and that in this climate I should wait till winter. I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure it out. But uh, I, I harvested one of my red cubanelles. It's not red yet, but it's got a little bit of something, something on it. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Yeah, so, I don't know. It'll still taste good. Oh, I did something with the beans. I took one whole row of beans out of there. Hopefully I can get some beets to grow. I don't know because the ants have actually transferred over there. And I've planted them down in the clay soil. Um, I don't know if it's going to work because the clay soil is so dense, but I figured, eh, I'm going to go ahead and try it. I think it's time to check on the worm bin. We haven't looked at that in a while. I know y'all aren't thrilled about worm farming, but I am. So uh, I need to take a look and make sure there's cocoons and the worms aren't dead. It's not too moist. It's not too dry. Let's take a little look. Oh, we got some kind of going up to the top. Look at that bedding. It is absolutely beautiful. All of those worm castings. I'm going to take my glove off for this. I don't even care if my, my hands get all dirty. There's a little bit of mold on that. That's okay. Look at that. Look! Oh, they're loving it. But I can tell you one thing right now for sure. This worm bin is too moist. Look at, we got something growing. What is that? I don't know. It's probably a pepper plant. I think I put some, no, some tomatoes. See, there's sprouts. That's okay. That's to be expected. But there are cocoons down in there. Come on, worms, get down. And... The worms are loving this, so I'm just going to shred up some more brown paper and put it down in here, and uh, it'll dry it out because, look, it is just, see, that's way, way, way too wet. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and show you what it looks like afterwards. See that? I just ripped up some brown paper in varying sizes because, basically, they've eaten all their bedding, and it's just worm castings down there. So... And you can tell if your castings are, I mean, it's just too too damp, especially around where that uh, squash was. So, I normally wet my paper before I put it in, but since I've got so much moisture in here, I'm not going to do that. I am going to completely toss this around. Oh my gosh, there's just so many worms in here. So many worms and cocoons. Oh, it is exciting. Oh, look at this. They ate a tomato but left the, the skin. I'm leaving it in there. All right, so let me just get this all tossed around. And then this worm bin will be done. Oh, yes. They're not big worms, but... Oh, look at all those cocoons. Yeah, it is so wet down in this area. See that, how it just kind of like holds together a little bit too much? You don't want it to be too wet because your worms will basically drowned. So, I'm just going to toss this around, put the lid on, and call it a day. I'll, I'll give them their squash back. Oh, this is just going to make such wonderful fertilizer. Look at that. 
Look at that. Yes, I need to keep adding more, more and more of this paper because I've only got about this much, you know, depth to this. And it could actually have quite a bit more. And I'd have quite a bit more worms too. So, yeah, I'm going to keep adding more of this brown paper. And, uh, you know, toilet paper rolls, stuff like that. I've got a whole bunch of those. I may go ahead and add those today. Or maybe I'll wait till tomorrow to see how the moisture situation is going. And hopefully by planting time next year, I'll have plenty of worm, worm castings and plenty of worms to go fishing with, like I didn't do so far this year. Let's go see how the girls are doing. Hey, chickens! Come on, chickens. Oh, there's my girl. Hello. Hi, beautiful babies. Hello. What are you guys doing? I already fed you some sardines today and some oats. And of course, remember, you guys, they always have their chicken feed, so don't, don't go crazy. <laughs> Look at them. Yeah, so this has been working pretty good. It was so much easier to get this up and down last night, especially in the rain. Um, just kind of attaching it simply, basically. Well, I'm going to leave it like this for a few days. Instead of adding more hoops, you know what? Eventually, there, there's this whole area is going to be enclosed with a fence and beyond. Um, probably from about out to here to... Maybe about here, see there's the van, here, and then all around the van. So they can go underneath the van, they can come out here as much as they want to, but they just love it. They love it. And, and when it's really hot like this, you notice that there's only one out here. The rest of them went inside because it's cooler in the van, if you can believe that. They're doing such a good job kicking up that compost. Oh, looks like I, well, they got a little bit of food left in there. They're doing good on water. They're just really, really great chickens. So this is working out okay so far. And that fly magnet is working like crazy. I love it. There are still flies, but it is getting quite a few flies in there. So you're going to chill out in the van, little chickens? All right, talk to you later. What's Miss Judy doing? Look it. Look at her. Look, look at, look at this. She doesn't quite get the concept of playing with this yet. She thinks it's a chew toy. But she loves, loves, loves to play frisbee. All right, here we go. Can she get it? Yeah. She hasn't quite figured out picking it up yet. She was doing really good the other day, though. Get it. Good girl. Now look. She's going to get close to me, and she's just going to start chewing it. Oh, she's just chewing it over there. Judy, that's not the way you play fetch. <laughs> she's so crazy. Judy, don't chew on it. <sighs> you know what I've been dying to do is go to that back part of my property and see what's happening over there, but i got to get my boots on. Well, I've been traipsing through these woods here. Haven't found anything too interesting yet until I came to my favorite tree. Remember this one? <laughs> this one is the tree that I found all those oyster mushrooms on and look at this big beautiful bunch. Yep, I'm gonna harvest them and these are brand new because I came out here I think it was yesterday. Could have been yesterday or the day before and there were a couple of older oyster mushrooms right here. They were past their prime so I let them stay and sure enough I've got me some more delicious oyster mushrooms. I didn't bring a knife. Let's see if I can just gently... Oh, they just come right off. Let's see what they look like underneath. Yep, they got a few bugs, but those bugs are going to come out pretty quickly. And there's a few ants in there too. Yep, I'll just turn them over like this and they will all come running out. And then I'll take them home and clean it up. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's going to be in tonight's dinner. See? They all fled. And this is the bonus of owning and living on your own fertile land. 
there is so much out here that I don't even know about that I can eat, but I'm learning a little bit day by day, and it's just been wonderful. You know, if I could just learn to garden out here a little bit better, I'll learn. Next year is going to be better. But it's just so pretty out here. And see that area over there? There's the little stream, or the dry river, or whatever it is. That whole area over there, I'm just, I'm doing nothing with. Someone had commented about going together, purchasing land, and getting together, and living on, you know, together, off-grid, whatnot. I could clear this whole area back here. We would just have to find a way to bridge over the, the little uh, drainage ditch thingy so that people could drive up and park right by their little tiny houses. But it's something to consider. It sure is nice out here. It's getting ready to rain again, and I can tell because Mr. Lucas is out mowing his lawn. He always gets it done right before it rains. So I gotta go in the tiny house and do some cleaning. I got some dishes to do. I got some dusting and some vacuuming. Oh, that floor. It is so hard to keep it clean, both, both the carpeting and just the plain floor. So I'll be glad when I get a, a decent floor in there. Anyhow, so I think I'm gonna fry, some, fry me up some oyster mushrooms for dinner. Free, free dinner. That is so amazing. And uh, I don't know, maybe watch the chickens for a little while, but this video's gotten long enough, so that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.